Well, good morning, everybody. So we're going to start switching Douglas Avenue. First of all, we have to get all the cars uh, in order. So the cars we're picking up from the yard. We've got the Southern Box car and the CNO car. They're going to ITT Grinnell. Uh, we've got this uh, Milwaukee Road insulated uh, reefer, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> inside a boxcar. Um, it's going to Miller Distribution. The Volcan Flat with Lumber is going to the Team Track. And we have these two cars going to General Chemical. And they're actually already in the right order. <laughs> so we got lucky there. Uh, so we're going to do the yard switching in this uh, uh, session. And then we will uh, switch, start switching Douglas Avenue next week. Uh, I do want to point out one thing. This Burton Northern 40-foot car and this NW 40-foot car have been sitting in the yard now for like two or three sessions, not moving. Uh, so at the end of this, I'm going to force them back to the yard. And I'm actually going to shorten my yard um, in um, JMRI so it's not so jammed up all the time. Uh, don't know how that's going to affect the switching yet. Hopefully it won't. If I've got three cars sitting around the yard that never move, I don't know why it would affect my switching. Uh, but uh, I just want to let you know, I've been keeping an eye on those two cars and they haven't moved. So let's get into the switching. All right, good morning, everybody, and happy November 1st. On the back porch, you can tell by the wind chimes, it's so breezy, so I'm going to move away from them to another part of the yard. As I talked about at the introduction, we've got six cars to pick up. First thing we're going to do is go pull this uh, CNO boxcar because it's going to go inside ITT Grinnell. And we'll use the passing track to build the train again. As you got west in Chalkate, a little bit farther west, that was called the Sherman Track because we had uh, Camp Sherman, a World War I Army base, which was built there to train soldiers. Uh, I think there were about 70,000 went through there, including my grandfather. Had a big Spanish flu epidemic, killed a few hundred soldiers. But, uh, It's, uh, as soon as the war ended, they tore it all down. And now it's, it's still federal land. There's a federal penitentiary and a uh, VA hospital. There's a couple other uh, jails there too. And then uh, there's a uh, archeological site there. Halloween was sort of a bust for us. I was hoping I could show you the Halloween train that I always set up and used to deliver candy. But it rained the entire time. Uh, we only had about 20, maybe 25 trick-or-treaters, and they all came in the first <laughs> half hour. And I didn't get the train out. I set the track up, but I never put the train on it. very light rain and it was almost the only rain we had in October. I've got a guy I work with who's sort of a weather buff and he told me that this was the fourth driest October in recorded history in Central Kentucky. It was the ninth driest month overall and uh, we uh, had less than half an inch of rain. So it's been pretty dry. And last night's rain, even though it was miserable to <laughs> walk around trick-or-treating in, it didn't, uh, it didn't amount to much. So 
It's been in the 70s here. Now it's only low 60s. All right, enough about the weather. So the next car we need to pull is the Southern box car, which is behind that rail box uh, on the adjacent track. Uh, we'll just keep a hold of this other chassis box car and use it as a handle to get that. The x-ray just came down in the backyard. I have a two-day trip to Jackson, Tennessee this next week, and that's the last of my travel for the year. So hopefully I can get some scenery done and maybe uh, get some stuff done around the elevator and start putting that into service. X-ray is just a little too hyper to deal with trick or treaters. We had to keep him inside and put him in a bedroom because uh, just a little too excitable. Wish it wasn't that way. Jazzy's pretty mellow, so maybe he'll calm down as he gets older. All right, so those two cars are going to IT2 Grinnell. So next we're going to do is we're going to place these three cars on an empty track. So if I don't watch it pretty soon, I'll be trying to drag around nine or ten cars, do the switching, and uh, the engine won't pull them. I want to thank everybody for the comments about my uh, speed um, video again the, the comment he made was very nice I mean very complimentary uh, he just questioned the speed I wasn't sure until I actually did it and now, now I am sure <laughs> I hope he continues to watch So since we're pretty deep down in the yard, we're going to go ahead and grab the two cars for General Chemical on that next track. Now you're not going to see it, but I edit, cause I edited it out. I had a lot of troubles <laughs> keeping the NW2 coupled to that uh, Fruit Grower Express car. The NW2 couplers are a little high. So after the video, I, I've already shimmed one of them down. Uh, use the Microtrain's coupler gauge. And I'll do the other one before you see it again. I 
I think the uh, shell might be riding just a tad high because of the sound decoder because I can sort of push down on the shell. It's not really seated down uh, on the frame. It just springs right back up. What we're doing now is we're going to grab that Milwaukee Road um, boxcar that's going to go to Miller Distribution because it just makes sense to put it on the cars that are going on the switches off of the main line. That way I can switch ITT Grinnell and Miller Distribution at the same time without crossing over tracks. Standing on the roof of the elevator. So I goofed up a little bit here. The uh, bulkhead flat car with the lumber should go on the other end of the cars for General Chemical. And it's going to the team track. So I should have dropped them off, coupled them to the Milwaukee Road car, and then went in and got the bulkhead flat. So the switch crew will have to sort it out when they get down there. I'm sure they'll give the yard crew some good-natured teasing about it.
I'm dropping off those two black tank cars. For some reason, I've got all three of my, uh, I don't know, call them beer tank, beer can tank cars in the yard, and none of them are going anywhere. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just what JMRI does. It moves cars, tries to keep the car moves even. Thankfully, they're short, so they don't take up much space. So as soon as we uh, couple general chemical car onto the bulkhead flat, we're going to end the switching and we'll pick up next Saturday. Uh, I've got a surprise to show you here, so stay tuned. So here's our train for next weekend. These two general chemical team track. I messed up. This should have been on the other end. Well, I guess the switch screw is going to have to fix that. Uh, Miller distribution and two box cars for ITT Brunel. So, uh, got a special surprise, and we'll show you that next. So next Saturday, we're going to fire this baby up and see how it does, fresh out of the box. Stay safe.